Hey YouTube, it's Nushaf. I'm back with another video, this time showing you guys how to activate FaceTime on iOS 8. If you've used my previous video and used the iOS 7 method on iOS 8, uh, it's probably bricked your phone, so you need to restore if you've done it. Uh, and of course, I'm making this video because devices in the Middle East do not have FaceTime, they do not have the preference pane settings, and nothing comes up when you search for them. So I'm going to show you guys how to activate FaceTime. Of course, you need to be jailbroken with the Pongu jailbreak for iOS 8. So let's get started. Alright, so first things first, you're going to want to open Cydia, click on search, and install this tweak known as Preference Loader. Uh, it's an essential tweak for Cydia, and uh, I thought this was an obvious, but many people last time broke their phones because they did not have this installed. So make sure you have Preference Loader installed before you do this. Then just respring. Next thing you guys should make sure is that you have iFile installed, so that's a package you can search and install from Cydia. Alright, so then you're going to want to click on sections, you want to click on the top right, there's a button called edit, and then click add, and add the following repo, uh, cydia.myrepospace.com forward slash apple lab, so after you're done typing that in, just click add source, wait for it to verify. Alright, so once that's done, you just got to click return to Cydia, and then you're going to have a new source, apple lab, so just click on that, click on all packages, and click on com center patch for iOS 8. Once you click on that, you're going to want to click uh, install in the top right corner. Again, make sure you have not done this after doing the iOS 7 method. If you've done the iOS 7 method, I highly recommend you restore. Uh, then click restart springboard. Then open the iFile app we previously downloaded and uh, click the home button at the bottom. Click on uh, library and uh, then carrier bundle dot bundle. And then uh, you want to click on this file called carrier.plist, click on property list viewer. You want to click the plus at the bottom right, uh, change the type to boolean, and uh, add the text allows VOIP. And make sure the A is capital and the B and the IP is capital, so it's case sensitive. You're going to click create, and then you're going to click on the, the switch to turn it on. After you're done with that, just click done, and then go back, exit I file. Then you want to reboot your phone, uh, just hold the power button, turn it off. Then when you turn your phone back on, you're going to see that beautiful green FaceTime icon, but you should reboot again. So just turn off your phone again, turn it back on. And now you can enjoy FaceTime. Thank you so much for watching the video. If that helped you out, please hit the like button, it really helps me out. And if you'd like to see my future uploads, uh, uh, please hit the subscribe button. I could be doing some cool iOS or gaming videos or other random stuff that I find is cool. Uh, check out my last video. It was something new that I was trying. It was a comedy skit called Gamer Problems. So definitely help me support that as well. And regarding some questions and concerns I had in the comments of the last video, uh, the main question was, does this work on iPad? And it works only on 3G slash 4G slash cellular iPads because regular iPad Wi-Fi does not really have the carrier bundle bundle folder or the carrier.plist file that you have to edit so it only works on 3G iPads and another question is someone had was that uh, they went to another country or they changed to their sim to another carrier so if you change your sim to another carrier then you have to restore your phone and activate your phone with the new sim and then do the process all over again uh, the FaceTime will go away if you put in a sim from a different carrier so I guess that's pretty much it guys, uh, again if you've done the iOS 7 method in my last video you have to restore otherwise you're going to screw up your phone to so restore and then do this but if, if, you've, if you've never tried to install a comp center patch for iOS 7 you should be good, you can just do this right away. Uh, again thanks for watching the video and I'll see you later.